Want colorful eyeliner like this? We've got Jen Karsten here of Makeup Forever to show us how to make it work. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things I love about bold color is that it's something you can pop in with any neutral. Find your sort of pop color that you really love. I chose this beautiful lagoon green, very complimentary to your blue-green eyes. If you want to go with something more contrasting or something more bold, you can always choose a complementary color to your eye color. Okay. For you, that would mean something like a copper. Okay. Um, next thing we're going to do is working in with um, the black at the base is a really great way to kind of mix the two colors. So essentially what we're going to see is you're going to have this on already, and then we're going to use the green to create a beautiful fade. So first things first. You want to kind of just repeat your same line that you did with your classic black liner, but you're placing the green right on the top edge of that liner, almost so they're right next to each other instead Ooh. of on top of it. The next thing you're going to want is a small blending brush so that you can blend the pencil. Okay. This is a waterproof liner too, so it's going to stay on all day. You don't have to worry about smudging, but since it does dry, you have to blend quickly. So I do one eye at a time okay. when I do that. So you're going to place it and then you're just gonna sweep from the outside in and from the inside out to just give it a soft fade. I feel like I definitely could have this in my everyday work life. I think you could do it too. Yeah. yeah? Okay, now if you wanna turn it up a notch, if you keep it in the same family and then we add something just slightly lighter, then we're just making a very soft gradation. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna switch brushes. I want something that's a little bit more flat, like a basic eyeshadow brush to do this part. Okay. And this is gonna be your lid eyeshadow. You're just gonna place on the center of the lid. I call this the top of the mountain and you want to use the brush to kind of kiss and hug around the top of the mountain. We love kisses and hugs. Always makes you feel good, right? And you're really working this to suit your own eye shape. So if you're just following the natural curve of the eyeball, okay. you'll always have it in the right place. Now, I just did a very sheer layer of that. I picked up a little bit more just so I could blend it down into the eyeliner that we did just before. You're just slightly overlapping the edge of the two greens. The way that you, uh, you don't go too high with that is you're following the shape of the eyeball. Wow. Okay, so instead of adding the black on the bottom, we're just going to use the darker pencil okay. and the medium tone. That way we get a little bit of a softer version of what's on top on okay. the bottom. So we'll use the Lagoon pencil, aqua eyes. We're going to use our nice little bit more pointy smudgy brush so that we can be a little more precise underneath. Okay. And what you want to do here is you almost want to act like a little wedge. I always say it's kind of like a slice of cheesecake. It's a little bigger out here, and then it tapers in towards the middle. When you get to the middle where it's most round or the, where the lash line comes down, that's where you stop. So you go just to the deepest, roundest part oh. instead of going across it. Okay. Because if you go across it, it outlines it. And it makes it look more round. So if you want to make it more almond, you don't cross oh. over the middle. And then just to connect up to the top, I'm taking the pencil and right where it can touch the skin, do this with your eyes open. Just take your pencil right there where you can see into the corner and then just connect it to the bottom. So you've got your medium tone pencil on there first. Mm -hmm. Makes a nice little smoky corner. Now we can pick up our brighter oh, mid-tone cream and you're just very subtly gonna work that right along the edge. And this one, the lighter one, you can pull in a little bit further. Okay. So that it fades from light to dark. Wow. So I'm just gonna finish you off with a little mascara. Okay. Always make sure with your mascara that you press into the roots first before you start to hit the tips. You're actually creating a more defined line so that the whites of the eyes look more white, oh. the eyes look more crisp, and of course the roots of the lashes look more thick. Okay, voila, there you have it. Colorful smoky eyes. The key is if you're gonna go bold and big, kind of try to stick within the parameters of where your face ends. Oh, okay, so, so not too much, yeah. Yeah, too not far too much width. There are other a little bit more aggressive looks, whether it's stud work or Look color blocking. These are great, and they're all denim friendly. That's what's so great.